Hello everyone, my name is Hesam and in this video we are going to cover the landing distances uh, based on uh, today's METAR. Uh, our temperature is 19 degrees Celsius and our pressure altitude is calculated 500 feet. And uh, we are uh, going to land at John Wayne Airport. So let's look at this chart. It's basically the same chart that we have for takeoff. Uh, with the exception of right here with note number two, we said decrease distance is 10% for each night of uh, each uh, nine knots of headwind and uh, For operations with tailwinds up to 10 knots increase the distance by 10% for each two knots So I'm going to explain this uh, really quickly to you uh, So let's go over the the values of the chart. So we know that the temperature of the day is 19 degrees Celsius so uh, if we divide this uh, difference between 10 degrees and 20 degrees we have 10 10 increments between these two so I divided in uh, in 10 10 increments for you here so if you if you're uh, looking at 19 degrees we are looking about using 90 degrees of this uh, percentage between this number and this number for example if we are at sea level and we are 10 degrees we are only using uh, two uh, 1235 feet or 1,235 feet uh, to uh, land and uh, like roll on the ground until we stop, fully stop. So, uh, and if it's hotter and it's 20 degrees, we're going to use 1265. However, today is 19 degrees, so we can say that we are 10% shy of 20 degrees. So, whatever value is for t uh, t 20 degrees right here, we are 10%. Uh, less than that so we're gonna uh, find first we're gonna find the the values for uh, between sea level and 1000 feet why because uh, today's uh, uh, pressure altitude it's not sea level at John Wayne but it is 500 feet so 500 feet it be is between uh, sea level and five uh, and 1000 right here so for ground roll uh, we can find the average between 110 be between 510 and 5 30 it's going to be 520 and uh, we're going to find the same value for the uh, the total to clear 50 foot obstacle we find this number and for between uh, 53 and 55 it's going to be 540 and between 1265 and 1300 it's going to be 1 to uh, roughly 1 to 83 so now that we find these are the value these are, these are the values for 500 feet pressure altitude so now that we found that we're going to find the uh, the temperature difference we are not 10 degree we are not 20 but we are almost 10 degrees cooler than 20 so whatever this number is 10% less than that so let's find that 520 540 we find a difference it's 20 so we are 10% shy of that and we find 18 we add that to uh, the little number and we get 538 also uh, we need to uh, consider note number two that says decrease distance as 10 percent for each nine knots of headwind so what does that sentence mean it means that if uh, nine knots of headwind is 10 percent so each knot of headwind it's one knot of headwind is going to be only 1.1 percent how we get that if we simply divide 10 by 9 it's going to be 1.1 so if we have 18 uh, knots of headwind it's going to be 18 times 1.1 and uh, we get 20 percent so we need to decrease 538 by 20 uh, so we subtract 20 percent from it and we get 424 and the last consideration is the upper slope so we have an upslope runway for landing uh, it's gonna stop us sooner because uh, we're landing this in this direction so we're gonna be uh, stopped sooner and much sooner so how much sooner it's gonna be uh, f if we if, if we take 424 minus 4 percent why 4 percent because uh, we have uh, on John Wayne, uh, we have uh, runway 20 left, right here, right here. So we have 0.4 percent of upper slope. As a rule of thumb, each one degree is 10 percent. So we have 0.4 degree. So we have 4 percent. So here, we decrease uh, the 
424 by 4%, we get 408 feet. So what is the difference between this 408 and 538? Uh, the distance is only 16 feet, right? If you use the calculator, you see, okay, this distance and this distance is, uh, th actually this distance is 16 feet less than this. So we have to decrease our total to by 16 feet. So we subtract uh, 1027 minus uh, 16 feet, we get 986 feet uh, for our total to clear. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and uh, leave your comments below so we can uh, f have a better videos in the future for you. Have a good one.